Good morning, Coleman. Thank you for tuning in to Coleman Today. I'm your host, Cheyenne Sharp, and today is Tuesday, July 16th. We have a lot to look at in local news today, including information on free lunches at Hansville Elementary School, the Shoot for a Cure Archery Tournament, and United Way's Stuff the Bus event. All this plus sports weather and more, but for now, let's dive into the top stories happening in Coleman Today. Hansville Elementary School has made an exciting announcement about the upcoming school year. When school resumes, all student, students at Hansville's Elementary School will be allowed to receive free breakfast and lunch in the lunchroom. Coleman County Schools Superintendent Dr. Dr. Shane Barnett has confirmed the entire student body of the Coleman County School System will once again receive free breakfast and lunch at school. Next up, Coleman High School school teacher Robin Cook has been named a 2024 Jewish Foundation for the Righteous Alfred Lerner Fellow. Cook was among 22 middle and high school teachers selected by the Jewish Foundation for the Righteous as 2024 Alfred Lerner Fellows. As part of the selection, Cook and the selectees participated in the JFR Summer Institute for Teachers, an intensive course delving into the complex history of the Holocaust and discussing new teaching techniques for introducing the subject of the Holocaust into their classrooms. To finish out our top stories, Coleman County Parks and Recreation Department has a brand new director. Hansville local Kenneth Cornelius has been tasked with the entirety of the county's park system. Taking over as assistant director in March of this year and then stepping into the director's role in June, when previous director Doug Davenport retired, Cornelius has taken to the position with ease. Cornelius is spearheading a major overhaul and renovation on the Coleman County Agricultural Center expected to begin in early 2025. Now that we have the top stories out of the way, we're going to take a quick break before returning with sports. Hello and welcome back. Now it's time to find out what's going on in the world of sports. Let's lead off today's sports segment with some news from this year's MLB draft. Alabama pitcher Ben Hess was selected in the first round of the 2024 MLB draft Sunday night, going to the New York Yankees with the 26th overall pick. With his selection, Hess becomes the fifth first round pick in Crimson Tide history and the highest drafted pitcher. Hess appeared in 33 games and made 30 starts across three seasons at Alabama. He finished with a career record of a 12-6 and, and posted a 4.81 ERA. In three seasons, Hess struck out 205 batters and walked just 62. He also holds the Alabama career record for strikeouts per nine innings with 13.3. Alabama has now had at least one player drafted for 46 consecutive years dating back to 1979. Moving over to basketball, the Auburn Tigers have signed to play in a marquee non-conference matchup with the Purdue Boilermakers. The first game will be played in December at Legacy Arena at the BJCC in Birmingham. This will mark the first game of a two-year series between Auburn and Purdue. The schools will face off again as part of the fourth annual Indy Classic in Indianapolis next year. Purdue and Auburn have met just three times before, with Purdue leading the all-time series 2-1. The last meeting between the two schools took place during the 2016 season in the championship game of the Cancun Challenge. Prior to that, the Boilermakers and Tigers met in postseason play during the 2001 NIT Tournament and the 1985 NCAA Tournament. Auburn looks to defend its SEC Tournament Championship from a year ago behind the return of All-American Janai Broom. Head coach Bruce Pearl will be entering his 11th season on the Plains and is 14 wins away from becoming the all-time winningest coach in program history. That covers sports for today, but make sure to check with the Coleman Tribune each day for the latest in sports coverage from across the area. We'll be back after this message.
Hello and welcome back to Coleman Today. Now it's time to speed things up with a news rundown. Four stories in under four minutes. Holly Pond K-8 School will be holding its last new enrollment and withdrawal date of the summer on July 25th from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. If your child is a new student to Holly Pond, please bring a birth certificate, current immunization record, social security card, and a current utility bill. The seventh annual Stuff the Bus School Supply Drive is approaching and volunteers are needed to make this event a success. The hands-on opportunity allows community members to give back to students in need, ensuring they have the supplies necessary for a successful school year. The bus will be set up in front of Walmart on 157 during tax-free weekend from July 19th to the 21st from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. Additionally, a school bus will be stationed at the Coleman County Courthouse from July 22nd to the 26th from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. Volunteers are crucial to the event's success and organizers aim to have enough helpers so that no one has to sit for an extended period. Shade and water will be provided and each volunteer will receive a free t-shirt. For more information to sign up or volunteer, contact T. Johnson at uwaycc.org. Circle of Hope is gearing up for its 17th annual Shoot for a Cure 3D Archery Tournament set to play take place on Saturday, July 20th and Sunday, July 21st at Camp David in Jones Chapel. This annual event brings together archery enthusiasts of all ages and abilities, with all proceeds directly benefiting the Bruno Cancer Center in Birmingham. For more information on the event, divisions, and classes, visit Circle of Hope's Coleman's Shoot for a Cure Archery Tournament event page. For any other questions, those interested can call 256-339-0786 or 256-338-6652. On July 25th from 9 a.m. until noon, the Holly Pond High School basketball teams are hosting a one-day basketball camp for all students and players in grades 2 through 6. Players will learn the basics of the game as well as shooting, passing, and scrimmaging from varsity players and coaches. Registration for the camp begins at 8.30 a.m. in the Holly Pond High School gym, and the cost is $50 per player. Now for a quick break before we look at the weather ahead and pay our respects with obituaries. I'll be right back after this message. Discover what's buzzing in Coleman with Community Matters, where every story pops off the page with local flair. It's the magazine that's got the inside track on what's now, what's new, and who's who. Get the lowdown on Top Eats and 411 on recipes that'll turn up your summer cooking game. Relive our local team's triumphs on the sports fields and pencil in summer's hottest events for fun the whole family will love. Get your copy of Community Matters at the Coleman Tribune, any of the local businesses on screen, or scan the QR code. Welcome back. Let's take a moment to pause and remember those who have lost their lives this week as we turn to obituaries. Donald Cornell McMahon. Donald Cornell McMahon, 77 of Coleman, passed away on Monday, July 15th. A visitation for Mr. McMahon will be held Saturday, July 20th from 10 a.m. until noon at Moss Service Funeral Home. Following the visitation will be a celebration of life at Moss Service Funeral Home Chapel. Vicki Franklin Pierce. Vicki Franklin Pierce, 75 of Coleman, passed from this life on Sunday, July 14th. Funeral service for Miss Pierce will be Wednesday, July 17th at 2 p.m. at Coleman Funeral Home Chapel. Visitation will be held from 1 to 2 p.m. and interment will be at Forest Hill Cemetery in Memphis, Tennessee. That finishes up obituaries for today. Our thoughts and prayers go out to their friends and families. Now, let's take a look at today's weather forecast. Today has a 30% chance of showers and thunderstorms, mainly after 1 p.m. Mostly sunny with a high near 94 and a heat index value as high as 101. Tonight will be partly cloudy with a low around 72. Tomorrow has showers and thunderstorms likely after 1 p.m. Otherwise, it will be mostly sunny with a high near 93. Tomorrow night has a chance of showers and thunderstorms with patchy fog after midnight, otherwise partly cloudy with a low of around 69. 
That concludes another edition of Coleman Today. Thank you for joining us. We'll be back bright and early tomorrow morning at 6.30 a.m. I'm Cheyenne Sharp with Coleman Today, wishing you a terrific Tuesday, Coleman.